Good afternoon, YouTube fam. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Hyperboost. Anyway, if you guys don't know yet, and if you haven't been to my channel and it's your first time here, my name is Pete, and I will be your host on this little channel of mine called Hyperboost. So anyway, today I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on with the Lexus wheels. Now, you noticed from the last vlog that I had that they sent me four front wheels on this thing. Now, mind you, you guys know that these are staggered fitment cars. And so what happened was when we ordered the wheels from Wheel Pros, they accidentally sent us four front wheels. So Edwin called up immediately that Monday because the install was supposed to be on a Sunday. And uh, that following day, Edwin called Wheel Pros and uh, they corrected the situation very quickly. They sent us two wider wheels for the rear, as well as sending us the hub-centric rings, as well as the new center caps that actually fit the car. Because again, they sent us center caps, but they were work wheels center caps, work VS wheels. Yeah, it is a happy accident, like I said in the last video, but the problem that I'm having with that is, I know that they're not VS wheels, and I don't wanna misrepresent the wheels for what they're not so hopefully they send us the right stuff this time so that's coming unfortunately it's not going to be this weekend because my family and i are going on a weekend trip down towards uh south of uh where we're at right now so we're going towards tampa so we're going to leave the is here this uh, weekend and we can't do the install this weekend. Hopefully the wheels are there. I haven't heard from Edwin yet if the wheels have arrived. He's got his own thing going as well. But today, this this is what I wanted to show you on the Tundra. If you guys noticed something different about my 2018 Toyota Tundra SR5, yeah, look how clean that bad boy is. I detailed this bad boy. I've been detailing it for the past like week, so it's been it's been one of those weeks that I've just been detailing this truck and I love the way it's looking right now. Super clean, super shiny, ceramic detailed all the way around. The wheels are super shiny and the tires as well. So it's really cool. But if you guys notice something different on the truck, the over the bed rack system, I've had this for a while, but I took it off because I just wanted a different look because I had my spare tire on top of that uh, rack system there. So I didn't bring my spare tire, the ones that actually match these uh, wheels that I have on the truck right now. I do have a spare. I still have my original spare underneath this truck. But these are 33s. I think the ones that I have underneath are like 31s. So it's not really a big deal, the stock wheel underneath the spare. Uh, but also, I do have one that matches that goes over onto that basket. I'm not going to take it this week and I don't think I'm going to need it. Hopefully, I don't need it. I usually put that rack up there just in case we uh, have to carry something a little bit extra. Uh, again, the biggest thing that I carry back there is my spare tire. But usually we carry all our paddleboard equipment up there and I just use a net to go on top. Because our luggage, golf clubs, all that stuff go into the bed. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff in there, tools and all these other things that I use when we travel. Because you never know what will happen. It's nice to be prepared. You know what, now that we're here, let's see what's going on in the back. Okay, well, that's not too bad. And by the way, guys, the slider bed is still working fantastically well. As you can see, that is still the original uh, slider board from there. I have not changed anything, and it still works just freaking fine. I know it's just a piece of plywood with some stuff on it, but it works really, really well right now. Yeah, I got to take this down. Those are my tools. Uh, yeah, so we gotta clean this up a little bit so we can use this for our golf clubs and all that good stuff. All right, we're gonna use a little magic of editing. Ready? Three, two, one. Boom, there we go. And again, that's the magic of editing. So anyway, as you guys can see, I am very well organized in my slider system on my Toyota Tundra, but look how neat that is. And honestly, this is how easy it is to just put inside. So I just basically push it in, slide it in, boom.
and there you go ladies and gentlemen that's pretty much how easy it is to pack up my 2018 toyota tundra to go out on a family trip and of course we have our dvd system up there so that is a 14 inch drop down screen that basically drops down to for the kids to be able to watch television while we are driving there and they have these infrared headsets that they put on that automatically beams up and uh, basically holds sound for them so my wife and I can listen to music or talk in peace. So again, hopefully the week, next week, the week after this weekend, we will be doing the install of my new OS wheels for my 2023 Lexus IS500 F Sport Performance. And that has been a long, long, arduous, patient journey. So anyway, you guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Just a quick short vlog to update you guys on what's going on. And uh, basically to just uh, wish you guys a happy, happy weekend. And hopefully uh, praying for continued awesome weather as Florida is flexing its weather muscles again. Look at how beautiful it is. It's well into the high 80s little breezy it's freaking so nice today you guys anyway um hoping hoping for a great rest of the week and weekend for you guys peace out